Well, it's true we bought a house, but it may not be what you think. Well, actually, it might be exactly what you think, but I'm betting that it's not. So this is really, looking at it, it's really kind of a, a bittersweet for me. It's bittersweet for me because I love RVing so much. In the last seven, eight years of full-timing, full-time as a family, has been fantastic. I wouldn't trade that for the world. But you know what they say about having the only constant thing in your life is that there's constant change. That's that's where we're at. The, the one thing that's not gonna change is my love for RVing. That, that's not going anywhere. But do you wanna quick tour as I explain what this house is for? Because this property has a bit of a hidden feature and I, I think this will help explain it, kind of what we have going on here and, and how that's gonna make it even better. Welcome to the living room. Plenty of space, plenty of things to work on, but this view is not too shabby. You can see that it has all of our furniture that we currently own. Actually, actually that's a lie. This is actually the only furniture that we own for a home. This goes right in between the living room and the kitchen. No hiding it, the kitchen's definitely gonna need some attention. This doesn't even have gas run to it. Next is the laundry room, which ironically houses the only working bathroom in the house. We have bedroom number one, assumed to be bathroom, bedroom number two, the master bedroom, which is housing everything for the, for the master bathroom. Can you see it? Can you see the vision? I hope somebody can. And the basement. So pretty obvious that I have a pretty healthy list in front of me to get all this done. It's gonna be a, a decent house when it's done, but there were some life changes of why we needed to get a house. And so one of the first ones is earlier in the year, I had shared that we were helping out family as they were going through radiation. And so in the short term, this is going to, I'm getting it fixed up so that they can move into it. That way they can downsize, they can, settle down, figure out what they're gonna do, whether that's retirement or what that's gonna look like. So it, it's it's really going to help family so that they can figure out what that next step is. And for our family, the four of us, we knew we couldn't keep traveling on forever. Our once boys are now adults are looking for that next step. And this is going to help facilitate that, give us a, a home base that they can work out of, give them opportunity to get started in what they want in life, which I know is awesome, but it's hard for me to think that the, the four of us travel traveling full-time, coming to a close, it's, it's just hard to swallow. But when the boys were younger, I had somebody give me some advice one time that you take all the weekends and you represent them in marbles. These are the opportunities that you have with your kids. And as that bag dwindles, it feels like you're losing them faster and faster. When they're two years old and that bag is huge, you don't notice it as much. But RVing feels like it took a ton more marbles than I should have had those opportunities and just completely overflowed the bag. Just thinking back even just a handful of years at just how young they were when we started out full time. These marbles that are represented by opportunity have definitely transformed into memory. So many of the memories, even if you went back to the exact place, could not be replicated how it was that that memory came to be. But it isn't always rainbows and butterflies. Not every memory gets to be picture perfect. Things don't go as planned. Equipment breaks. Sometimes you get stranded. But even when you wish you could have changed the conditions, the memories still shine through. And those memories walk through life, reminding you of the growth, the new talents and passions, the progress through it all and the time spent together. I have an overwhelming thankfulness because these memories don't end here, but it's the foundation on what the future holds. So while I could be sad to see this come to an end, it really isn't. It's exciting to see what's next. I love this because it's a, a visual representation of the opportunities that we have. And it would often remind me to 
to try and be the dad that I want to be, try and be the father that I want to be. I didn't always do it perfect. We weren't perfect parents, but an idea like this gave me the thought to be intentional with that time, take those opportunities and don't squander them because there is a limited amount in there. But this idea isn't just limited to being a dad. We all have opportunities. We all have some kind of opportunity each day that we can choose to take. And so one of the things that this house represents to me is really this property is my mind is full of all kinds of ideas over the years of RVing, things that I would love to do for RVing that I think will help other RVers, but it doesn't always work out doing some of these projects or ideas or tests in an RV park or not having a space of your own to be able to do these. But this now presents another opportunity for me to work out some of these ideas and share that information with you. So I'm not slowing down. I'm not backing up by any means. I see it as a whole nother bag of marbles of opportunity. And boy, am I excited to see where it goes. 2023 is in the rear view mirror, but 2024, we're coming right at you. All I have to say is I have a tremendous amount of gratitude. Thank you so much for being here for the journey and can't wait to see what this year holds. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed the time. If we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video. Take care.